Caustics are captivating light patterns created by materials focusing or diverting light by refraction or reflection. We know caustics as random side effects, appearing, for example, at the bottom of a swimming pool or next to a glass of water. In our work, we optimize the geometry of the reflective or the refractive surface generating the caustic to produce almost any desired caustic pattern, including areas of complete black and points and curves of infinite light density. We optimize for the surface using a two-step process. We model the input light distribution and the target distributions as power diagrams and find the optimal transport between the two. This gives us a mapping between the rays currently hitting each point on the surface and where the rays should be redirected to on the target plane, resulting in a target normal field. We then optimize to find a piecewise smooth continuous surface closely matching this normal field. We then send the 3D model of the resulting surface to a high-precision 5-axis CNC milling machine to be milled out of plexiglass. Here we show several fabricated results. This is a piece with a free-form head-shaped boundary that produces a brain caustic. The thicker lines correspond to curves that are optimized to get twice the intensity of light of the thinner ones. The piece is 11.5 cm by 13.5 cm and the target focal plane is 40 centimeters away. Note that since the curves are at the top of the piece, optimal transport computes the mapping such that all the light is used and the light from the bottom of the piece is refracted to the top. Here we show a horizontal plane laser to show how the light is refracted. Moving it at a high speed produces a similar image to a spotlight. The produced caustic at the left matches closely to our virtual simulation, shown on the right. This is a piece that forms the Olympic rings. The piece is 10 cm squared and has a focal plane 30 cm away. The piece works very well in sunlight as well as artificial light. Putting colored transparent film on one side of the piece allows us to see how sections of the piece are mapped to each ring. Finally, we show a piece that combines smooth output, here the picture of Albert Einstein, with curve output, Albert Einstein's signature. We set up the target such that the signature receives one third of the light, while the picture receives the remaining two thirds. Optimal transport automatically results in the optimal partition for the correct mapping. We show the simulation at right and the produced caustic on the left. To illustrate the dynamic range, we show photographs with both low and high exposure time. The piece is 10 cm squared with a focal plane of 30 cm away. While there are some artifacts from misalignment in the CNC milling, the piece nevertheless retains very high contrast and matches our simulation. Thank you.